What's up guys, this is DShack Tech and today you're watching another What's On My iPod video. Let's get started. Alright guys, first off we have Pulse News Mini which is a free application from the App Store. Um, it really gives you a really nice graphic organizer of your news um, which ranges from business to technology to sports to food and to movies. Um, it's really great all in one all-in-one application that allows you to grab all news from all different topics and sites. Um, so here's really the home screen. Um, as you can see, it has the different categories, top fun stories, sports, food, um, business. And so each row, you can scroll between and then pick on what you want to watch. So, ooh, technology, that sounds cool. All I got to do is tap the link, and this will show up. And this is basically the main part of the app, part of the um the word from from the article itself and if you want to go to the actual web page itself all you gotta do is tap on the link on the name and it'll actually show up in within this and so that is so that is the main part of this application is news it allows you to pull from different things um, I like it's really nice artistic graphic looking application um, another really cool part of this application is the settings part of this so if you go into settings, it will show up all the different categories. And so you are able to edit what you want to see on your home screen. So like if you want to rearrange, just like on the icons on your home screen, you can hold and they will, and you, you're able to move them around. Like I want business behind my news or whatnot. And then if you don't want, oh, I don't want food in my home screen, you can delete, delete and it won't show up. And then another really cool part of this is you can add sources. So like what if you don't want, what if you want another um, source like Mac Daily News right here. All you gotta do is search for it. You search, and this will come up. Mac Daily News right here. All you do is add. It is added. You see it done. Go back to the home page. Scroll down, and there's Mac Daily News. It should load up, and there are all the articles for it. So this is Pulse News Mini. It's free from the App Store. I really like it. It's really nice graphic organizer for all your um, news in the morning. Um, so yeah, Pulse News Mini. All right guys, so next we have TuneIn Radio. It is basically a free application within the App Store and allows you to get um, major radio stations wherever you are if you have internet access. Um, so what I really like about this application is it allows you to um, get local radio. It's not just um, nationwide radio where you don't really, you get stuff where you're not really at your location so you can just hit and it will track your location and all these things are close to my in my F, fm radio stations so like you have the jazz you have the old school you have the hip-hop and all that's really it's really cool so if you all you gotta do is click on one public radio may take a while and there it is it starts playing right there and this is from the radio over the internet. It's really cool. I mean, I use it a lot. If I have radio in the morning when I'm at school, I can just listen to the radio on my iPod. I think it's a really cool application. It's called TuneIn Radio. It is free in the App Store. Um, I think you guys should really check it out. All right, guys. So next we have Flickster, which is a really cool movie application, which allows you to get movie times, watch movie trailers, um, and see what movies are coming out or have been out for a while. Um, so here's the really ho the home screen. It shows you what's opening right this week, what's top box in the uh, what's top in the box office. Um, so you can see what's popular. You can see what by rating. You can see by title. You can you, you can search if you really wanted to. Um, so I don't know. Let's search for Thor. Thor. You can tell I'm a Thor fan. And so here it is right there. And you can see you can see how many people liked it, who's using it with this. You can get your show times. You could add your own rating, take take photos if you really wanted to, or you can even Netflix it. Um, so you can even play the trailer. Not gonna do it for copyright or whatever. Um, so there it is. That's a search. I really like it. It really it helps me a lot when I want to see when I want to see a movie and I don't know what time it is. It's real quick. Run my iPod if I have internet. Um, so on the bottom you have theaters. You can choose your own theater. See what's upcoming. See what's on DVD, and then you can then you can star your own movies, and then talk about it on Facebook, Flix, Flixster, or Netflix. Um, so this is Flixster movies. I mean, it is free, and oh yeah, and one thing, it is free, so it does come with um advertisements every once in a while. So that could be a downside for you if you don't like advertisements. Um, so it is free, so give or take, free with advertisements. But third is Flixster movies. It is free, 
And so lastly, we have an application called Evernote, which is a free application in the App Store as well. Um, so this is really allows you to get really in-depth note-taking um, on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So this is basically the home screen where you see most of the time. On the bottom here you have your all notes, your notebooks, a plus sign to add notes, your tags, and then a search button to search through all your notes. And so let's go through the home screen really. So if you want to make a note, which is the main function of this application, you hit the plus sign and this screen will come up. And so you can title your note like, you can title it as in um, you, YouTube. And then you can, um, then this is the actual body of the note taking like, um, I don't know, make a video. Whoops. Make a video. There it is, and then you hit this little button right there to take away your keyboard, and this is basically your um, extras within this note, which is what makes this application really awesome. So the main thing here is you can set your location, so if you're on a business trip, you can set your location like in New York City or Miami or whatever you wherever you are. And then you can see a map of where your locations are. I'm not going to do that right now because I haven't really been anywhere, so it's not going to be really pointless to show you. And then you can add your own picture. So. So that one is going to save it, and then it's going to show up as a t as a little as a as a tag right as like a tag right there. You can see it later, or you can even take a picture within this application. So there's a picture of the actual desk. It's not that much. Take the picture. Um, use. It's going to save it to the note, and then you can even add voice. This will allow you to speak into your iPod Touch. It will record it, and then you will be able to listen to it later. So let me show you. Make an awesome video. I'm gonna stop it. It should pop up pretty soon. There it is. All right, so then you're gonna save. And then here it is. YouTube. Make a video. Then you tap on it. Tap on it. It's gonna show up. There's a title. There's your. There's the note. Actual note. Then here's some pictures. The picture from my camera roll. Then the picture of the of the table, I guess. And then here's the 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 voice that I recorded. Let me play it for you guys. Make an awesome video. And so there it is. Um, so this is a really cool application. It's Evernote. It's free within the App Store. Um, so it allows you to have really extensive note taking. It's really good for projects. For what I'm doing, making YouTube videos, it allows me to organize my thoughts and interesting facts. Um, so there it is, Evernote. So that's all for me. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, D Shack Tech, for more app reviews. What's on my iPod video, jailbreak, theme reviews, Apple news and rumors. Um, I do have a Twitter account now. It's called DShack Tech. I think you guys should follow me. You guys are here what my thoughts on the daily tech news is. Um, so, yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.